Hey guys and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you guys today and this is just a battle between uh, myself and three other uh, subs basically, well one of them being heroes um, of the Greeks uh, who is playing here as the elves um, so yeah it's just a quick li little battle that we did and if you want to get involved in these that, that may take part on the channel please do uh, join the discord down below and um, yeah you have the chance to get involved in these battles and yeah, this is a very, very good battle. It goes down to the wire. Um, so we have the elves over here, played by heroes. We have the Eastlings, played by myself. These guys look awesome. And then we have two Gondor armies, which are just setting up now. Um, this is my ally, uh, for my allied Gondor army. Some wolves here. What are they doing here? And then we've also got another Gondor, Gondor, uh, Gondorian army here. Why can I say that today? Oh dear, there's always one word I can't manage to say. Um, but yes, yeah, so, I mean, look at these guys. They look epic. Very, very cool. So, um, yes, we'll see which Gondor is better, whether it is the one in blue or the one in red. Um, only in those colors because of, like, the emblems above them. But that's it. But anyway, the arch is a sign of fire um, for the elves and for the Gon Gondorians. The elves obviously have superior range and we have to get a lot closer to... Uh, to shoot them, but I mean, they, they, he's brought three units, um, Greyhaven's Guardians, and he's brought um, Noldorian Archers as well, so he's three units in total, I mean, look at these guys, they're awesome, and they fire so quickly, like, that's a, another volley off already, nearly, as I, okay, maybe they don't fire as quickly as I remember, that's still pretty quick, and the, anyway, these Varric Bowmen are taking a pound in, and these guys are really leveled up as well. They're on Silver Chevron. They're going to be hard to beat. But here we go. Cavalry already looking like it's going to move in. Some two Noldorian horsemen against uh, three Varig Lancers for me. My Varig Lancers do have a little bit of experience. And they're getting ready. They're both all getting into diamond formation. And here they come. Out. Look at those boys. A little trot to start with. And then they're going to go into a, a charge in a moment. And here we go. Nice little clash there. And it looks like, I'd say, the Varig Lancers came out on top. They, I mean, they got the initial couple of kills there, I'd say. Um, a different formation to... I really di didn't realise until now. They, uh, The Varig Lancers formed like a diamond formation, while the um, Elves formed like a, tri like a triangle one. So I wonder whether that had a difference. But... Um, Yes, there's now axes going over to support in this fight here, so I'm going to try and send some Varric footmen over to try and intercept them and slow them down. Now my infantry is moving forward to uh, intercept them. Heroes is not happy with um, this uh, like whole situation. This is going to be his like the end of his flank, and he's just going to form a square. Bit cheesy, but it, it works. It's annoying. It works, um, as you'll see later on in the battle. These guys are going to be hard to break now in their square. I really should have um, focused down because his archers are almost beaten. They're almost done. Oh, I say that actually. They're, they're really not. I thought they were beaten. They just got lost a lot of ammo. But yeah, so eventually. Look at these Varric Bowmen. 58 of them left. Jeez. And the other ones aren't actually that beaten up. I have some Loki Rim archers as well. Didn't bring any Loki Rim infantry apart from my general. Um, because they're so expensive. I went for a. Uh, Almost quantity over quality, but these very uh, uh, warriors are still very, very good. They won't let they won't let the Eastlings down. And here we go, another charge coming on, and he's another, forming another box. The spears. I think all of the spears have formed some sort of box. Now we are starting to actually like bring down the hurt on these archers. Look at them; they're actually getting focused down. That is brutal. And like the elves can't afford to lose any men. Because they, they live forever. So they don't produce very often. So if they lose a, like a large army, the elves. That's kind of like a massive hit to their entire race. But yes, we've got my uh, my general unit here, Loki Rim, getting into position. And the plan is just to have him uh, hold this gap. I saw this gap that was forming. And I was like, well, don't want to do anything here yet. And it, it looks like... Uh, Heroes of General King Gilead, Gil Gilead, is going to join join me and take up the challenge of a fight. So while that's going on, let's have a look and see what's happening over here. So Gondor 
I'd say the blue gondol's ever so slightly winning, but I mean they're losing here. And he's got some militia flying some spears. They're not gonna last long. Um, clearly just brought like some like almost throwaway units. He's got some he's got some spears over here fighting axes. He doesn't really seem to have a front line, and that's probably not a great sign. He has surrounded um, some swords here. I, some gondol swords with some uh, spears and swords of his own. I mean, look at this confused. This is so confusing. You can barely tell. I'll probably keep the hood on for the over here. See, like the uh, evil, well, evil gondol. The enemy gondol army is here, and the good one is here. He's also got some dunadine that are no. These are just sword infantry. They look like they have bows on their back. Oh, they do. They're Athelian Rangers that still have ammo. They need to get out of there. He's brought a lot of really elite archers, it would seem. And he's losing that archer fight. But he's got swords all the way back here. Wow, he got Knights of the White Tree all the way back. I wouldn't have sent these guys in on their own. Because these are a shock infantry unit. They really need to be using like the flanked. A bit like the axes that I'm sort of trying to use. But these axes are now routing um, Greyhaven Guardians. And... Uh, well, I routed the cavalry here, but then the uh, axes here just kind of nearly broke this cavalry unit of its own. There's eight of them left. And I'm having to send in... Oh, it's a brutal volley. These Varric bowmen are just going to shoot them in the back. These boys with their long swords. But, I mean, they've also got a load... Of, um, I've got a load of archers just going into combat. I mean, they're not bad in combat either. Like, look at the ar their armor. They basically look like the footmen. Just ever so slightly less well armored, I think. They haven't got the cool badass capes, I think. That's about it. But anyway, um, yeah, we're probably going to win the cavalry fight, which is going to be huge because then we can flank around and attack, deal with Gondol's archers if needs be, or just surround some of these uh, elven units. Like, I mean, these uh, spears can be hard to dislodge, but they can be dislodged. Right, so those spears that were all the way out there have broken to the warriors of Lozenarch. It looks like Gondor is going to. Um, the blue Gondor is going to wrap up this uh, left flank, but his right is definitely in trouble. He's got some spears here. Gondor spear infantry um, fighting his general, which is not great. He needs to get his general out there. And he's just doing that now. Um, they are breaking, though, actually. Knights of the White Tree in here as well. He may have actually won that fight. He may have actually won that fight. He goes in for another charge now. He certainly will win that fight. Well, interesting terrain, actually, to fight on. Um, what have we got back here? Oh, some Citadel Guard. The general is the Citadel Guard. That is going to be hard to break. A little bit of lag there, it would seem. Don't know why. Oh, here we go. A nice little charge. That so was okay. Wasn't great. Um, I, these guys surely will break now. 30, yeah, they'll break now. Looks like he's going to have to mobilize some other stuff. He's got archers now firing on this whole mass of infantry. Looks like he's mobilizing the general to either to protect his general, his archers, sorry, or, um, I don't know. But yeah, he's got archers now focusing down on his Lozenot. Axes are breaking them. I'm also starting to now fire and just help support um, this, like his fight over here. So I'm like killing a lot of Gondor sword infantry in the rear. Um, just to help support. It's just not... I've got no other really available targets here for the, as the find the else. I have all of their units engaged in combat. I'm now breaking their axes, and their general is uh, getting slowly encircled. It's not looking good for Gil Gilad. And now I have cavalry in here. Bizarrely, I have cavalry in here. I mean, they'll probably do okay. And there we go. We've broken the cavalry finally. So we have some cavalry free to do, do as it wills. And it, oh no. Oh no, this can't be good. The general is going to charge archers. And he's got a long way to come. It's not like he's caught them unawares. Those those knights of the swan are going to die. Like, they're ready for a volley here. Yeah. Oh god, it's like Osculeth. I think. Yeah. Oh god. I don't know if the general's dead. I can't even see. Can't even tell. But either way, he's not in a good situation here. He needs to get out of this. No, he's still alive. He's still alive. Because it doesn't say otherwise. But, I mean, they're doing some good damage to these archers, but they just need to get out of it. They've got another archer unit here that can focus them down. This archer unit here can focus them down. Oh my gosh, they're still shooting while in combat? I thought that was an elven thing. 
But yeah, they're trying to get out now with 11. Oh, sh oh no. No, don't go for another charge. No. No. I, I mean, very brave of you, General, but very stupid. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, he's coming for my lines. Oh, God. I don't know if he's going to make that. And there we go. He dies. Oh, my gosh. That unit got massacred. I didn't realize. I knew the general died. I didn't realize the whole unit had to get destroyed. But now we have archers joining the fight here. More Varric bowmen joining. Trying to surround these guys and do some damage. I should really, with hindsight, possibly... Uh, Focus these guys down with archers. Just if they're gonna sit in their boxes, I'll I'll shoot them. Um, but yeah, now I'm now shooting. Uh, well, these Gondorian spears that now routed those militia. Finally, well done to the militia for holding so long, I guess. But we're now in a really in a disadvantage. Balance of power. We started with more uh, men, and we still have more men. But I'm worried about Gondor because Gondor could break at any moment now with no general. So it's very close. I mean, I'm probably gonna route the elves eventually. The general is losing decisively, but it's taken a heck of a long time to break this guy. 29 of them left. It's taken a long time. I've now got cavalry over here, though, doing what the Gondor general couldn't do and routing the uh, archers. And that should, uh, well, sort out all the problems that we have. So Gondor should be able to now shoot with... Uh, the blue Gondor should be able to shoot at will and not have to worry about other archers. And he'll have his own men protected from my archers and from cavalry. And there we go. Those guys are now all sorted out. It's just this Gond Gondor Arch unit over here. They're very low on ammo, so I'm not too fussed about them. I mean, they look goddamn awesome though, in this uh, long grass. Gondor just looks awesome. I can't get over how good it look, how good the mod looks. Just looking at two Gondor armies fighting each other as well is just very satisfying. I mean, this is pretty brutal. I mean, yeah, this is not good to see. They're just shooting into the exposed rear here of. Uh, the evil Gondor, we're going to call them. But they're out of ammo now, those Gondor archers. They're just going to have to commit. Like, I've got all my... All my uh, cavalry back over here now. Axe is going in. Going to surround these uh, these spears. We are slowly, one by one, breaking these elven units. And here we go. Look at this. The march of... Uh, the barracks. They look awesome. I love these guys. And in they go. So the East things are actually outmatching the elves. And yeah, for some reason the cavalry didn't want to charge in. So I think it's got something to do with the boxes. They don't like charging the boxes. But I mean the general here is now in a real bad situation. <laughs> like whatever formation you have going on, they're all like cut off in different areas. There's some over here. Oh, wait, that's where the general actually is. What a brave, brave man. Gil Gilad is down there. He's holding out. And then we've got another group here. And we've got, like, another guy, like, here on his own. He's brave. He's a brave man. Standing on his own. Lots of elves left, though. This is a dangerous amount of elves. I don't like it. Like, this is, there's probably still two fairly fresh units of elves in here. Can't do much about that. I mean, if the king dies, though, then we should be okay. But it does also look like that Gondor's general's now in a bit of a situation. I mean, he's not in a bad situation. He's got a very fresh uh, unit. And he's fighting two very beaten-up units. These Knights of the White Tree are going to break anytime soon. A bit of a shame. This elite unit, and they didn't really actually uh, get mobilized to their full potential, I'd say. Oh, no. Oh, no, he fell. Jeff fell. I mean, like, look at this. I don't know what this formation is doing here, but the half of them aren't even fighting. And now these, uh, what are these? These archers are now being attacked. Are these fight other archers? These are. These are the evil Gondor, and they're fighting bow militia. And they're now getting focused down by uh, Athelian Rangers. Oh, I think I know what I told them to do at this point. I told him to basically get his bow militia and get it round to like here to focus down his citadel guards. So if they're going to sit in the box formation, they're going to get shot. And now my cavalry's back. My cavalry's come back over here. And I think the target is this spear infantry unit here. This spear infantry unit here. 
is gonna die. They've had, we've had enough of them. Oh, and there you go. The Elven General is dead. Um, so Gilgalad has finally died, and now the Elves are uh, probably very likely to rout. So that's good. So it's now almost like a nearly a one v one, or near or probably a two v one in the that it's actually going to be. Uh, okay, we went after these guys. An interesting choice. I, didn't, I forgot about these guys. I would have thought the uh, Arch Militia could have dealt with these guys, but we'll rout these guys with no problem. Now there'll be no archers left for Gondor. Um, whether they had ammo left or not is uh, debatable. Look at this guy. He's like, I'm coming back. I, I'm not finished with you guys. And now he's going to die for it. Well, I mean, there's plenty of standards on the back of these guys. And he's dead. He died in a... He, are you dead? Don't know what you're doing. You're just like wriggling on the ground. Are you pretending to just be dead? That's probably a better move. I wouldn't want to fight these guys. But yes, now my men are wavering. We've killed the general and we still can't break these last goddamn elves. It's ridiculous. There's 66 of them left here. This is a huge, the huge bob that just killed off the uh, general. And it, it's a brutal fight. Like there's Let's. Which one's? This is a good example over here. There is a ring of dead Eastlings around this, around these elves. A ring. These elves, even though they got lost, probably the battle like not uh, instantly. I mean, look at that. There's like a small ring of Varig, poor Varig bowmen and Varig swordsmen around them. Um. Even though they lost the battle quite early on, the elves, they were still able to hold, uh, still able to hold and um, fight it out for a long time so they're still in this I mean I say they lost the battle but them doing this gives them a really good chance and uh, coming back into this balance of power is um, kind of still where it's always been it's ever so slightly shifting in our favor um, we do outnumber them two to one but if Gondor, Gondor could break at any moment look his units here are wavering we are now breaking that archer unit over here that took a long time actually for a cavalry unit fighting archers that shows how beefy these Archers are well. They are heavy, heavy bows, actually. I guess so. It does make sense. But um, and it wasn't a great charge. But yeah, look, he's wavering here as well now, and he's doing what I told him to do. He's shooting these Citadel Guard. But unfortunately, Citadel Guard, Citadel Guard, um, have like the largest shields ever known to man. Yeah, look, they just blocked all of those. They blocked every single shot. It's these guys out here that are getting shot, like, really badly. Like, it's just okay, actually. These guys getting shot in the back, the ones over here. The ones in front are uh, blocking every shot that they have. Hold the standard! Oh yeah, it's pretty brutal, actually. If this Gondor general loses his, uh, um, well, if this Gondor army loses his general, it's GG. I mean, they're still holding us, some of these, um... Like these spear units and these swords. They're, and they're surrounded. Well, there's certainly this unit is surrounded. And they're quite happy to hold. I mean, there are they are a spear unit. Look, I'm breaking again. These Varric footmen just had enough. Oh, yeah, and we must have... What was over here, then? Oh, Gondor spear infantry unit all the way out here. Well, this at least frees up another sword unit for Gondor. And it frees up my cavalry. Which is very handy, actually. And it frees up these archers to go and join in the massacre of their own kind. Like, it's now going to be two arch units fighting a load of spears. And these, look at them. They're surrounded by just dead varics. Barely any um, elves dead down there. Ridiculous. But here we go. It looks like it's going to be a charge on this spear line. Let's get ready. Impact. Oh, it's not bad, actually. It's not bad. Definitely caused some chaos. And now them just being there and surrounded by cavalry, they're gonna they're not gonna like that. Are they wavering? No. Oh, they might now. They are losing decisively. You can barely see where they are. They're just like covered by um Barry glances and their huge banners. Yeah, they're 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 dead. These guys, I'm surprised also haven't broken. Fighting 
I mean, they're two units of swords to fight against a unit of spears. Um, spears will do okay. I mean, they are losing decisively now. So, I guess it's only a matter of time. I mean, these guys are wavering now as well. Oh, and he's left his formation, as I'd hoped. So, these archers are going to be sacrificed. But, we've got the spears out of their formation. What I couldn't do with the elves, because I had no ammo. Um, but now they're, now they're out of formation. I can get them with the cavalry. And uh, these guys are in trouble. But they look awesome, so I can't complain. And here they come. Here comes the cavalry, just... Zoom in over their shoulder and some Athelian archers and look they they turn around they know what's happened know what's happened and yet yeah, oh it's not great uh, and then the next wave's about to come in yeah the next wave's never as good always gets impacted by your own cavalry and I'm sure the general's not going to last long yeah he's already losing decisively 48 of them left they've just g been through so much as this general unit and there's only uh it's now four to one the odds. But I mean, these elves, goddamn, won't die. I mean, most of the uh, most of their units that are left are actually elven, and I'm not sure whether we're going to win this because even though I've still got my general, all my units are really beaten up at this point, and those elves are really, really strong. I've got like no proper infantry left. It's this cavalry's kind of just winning the day for me. Having won the cavalry fight means I can win that. Did those arch militia break? They did. 90 of them left and they broke. Look, this is the problem that we have. Gondor can break at any moment. So I'm really, really stuck. So it could go either way. It's all down to Gondor now, really. Gondor has to hold. He has the infantry left. He has a lot of infantry here, which has just been freed up. That now needs to... Yep, yeah, the order's been given. They've got to go over there. Because look at this. All my, like, what's left of my infantry is breaking. 39... Barrack footman, another 30 is about a break. Now this elven unit's freed up. And this ain't good. Because now he can encircle me. And I'm my general's losing decisively. These low key were in, which have been through so goddamn much. And now uh, freed up. And actually, no, they're having to finish off these Varig footmen clearly again. But that won't take them long. These Varig footmen are broken once, they'll break again. Very, very quickly. And they're outnumbered, outmatched. But now these elves are out of uh, formation. And I'm desperately trying to get my cavalry over there. Um, the Citadel Guard, yeah, the general is dead now, I think. Or he's certainly routed. So what's left of Gondor, which is nothing, um, is, well, useless. And there we go. Now all Gondor has to do is get over here and save the day. And it's uh, going to need to be saved soon because the Noldorian spears are coming in. And here we go. This could cause a chain route. This could cause a chain route. So I send in some more Varric... Uh, Varig archers. They've got to try and hold the line here. I mean, they sort of do, but they sort of don't. And now he's given the attack order um, for his uh, spit. Actually, no, he hasn't. But more of my units are breaking. Another Varig sword's um, breaking. That's not great. So it's just leaving my Loki rim, which has been through so much and some archers. And here comes the cavalry, though. Here comes the cavalry. been through so much of this cavalry they're like god damn it will sort out your problems again and here we go a final charge hopefully to deal with these pesky elves gondor's just inv got himself involved over here as well and there we go that is, this is probably gonna be it gondor has finally made it in time if the elves all the elves had to do was route my units before gondor arrived but now gondor's here and we're now routing with cavalry these elves. They're just so tired. And it's down to this final elven unit to hold them out. Some Loki Rim archers, some Varig archers, and some Gondor infantry trying to take down these goddamn elves. And they still can't do it. Look how many men there are dead on the ground. It's ridiculous. These elves are really good. But I mean, imagine if they. I don't know if those cavalry have been able to win and then like the archers have won their combat. Like the elves would have just stomped. Because their infantry is so good. And it has, I mean certainly in square formation anyway. And there we go. The elves break there and then. It's a Pyrrhic victory. Certainly was a Pyrrhic victory. We'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. Um, so my cavalry getting 200 kills um, and 152 kills. 
Um, and my axe is here getting Varigwaru is getting uh, 130 kills. Uh, Varig Footman did okay, not so great. They just kind of held the line and um, just were occupying all the elves in combat. Uh, my archer is getting 145 kills here and 138 here. That's pretty damn good actually for archers. Um, and then we'll look at Maxi. Microsoft PowerPoint who was playing as the other Gondor, my allied Gondor army who came to save the day. His uh, Knights of the White Tree getting 150 kills even though I said they didn't do very well. I mean certainly this unit didn't do, do, do so well. But this unit here that fought to the death did actually quite well and got a lot of kills. Um, his swords getting a lot of kills as well. Most of them getting like 140, 150 kills. I mean he's got Sword Militia getting like 16 so that's expected. His general getting nearly 200 kills so even though he sacrificed him and he died he did get a lot of kills so well done to him. And his bows did okay, but not great. And then his spears did okay as well. Um, we'll have a look at uh, Bakrish, who uh, was playing as the other Gondor army. His Citadel Guards getting 82 kills. They did okay, to be fair. His Axe is getting 148. They did very well initially, but then they just kind of got overwhelmed. His spears getting 110. Very, very good. And his Archers did a lot better than um, Microsoft PowerPoints, getting 79, 62, 126, and 110. They did actually very, very well. Um, but they are a lot more elite. He did it, even though he got Athelian Rangers. I think like these guys are just better in like combat as well. Athelian Rangers got no armor, and he brought some bow militia as well. So they just were never going to do well. And then Heroes of the Greeks. We'll have a look at him and his Elven army. Right, look at this. Some insane scores here. His Noldorian spears getting two hundred forty-one. His other Noldorian spears here getting uh, two hundred thirty-two, a hundred, two hundred and ten. His uh, axe is here getting 246. It did insanely well. His uh, archer is getting 104. His cavalry did very poorly. And his um, king getting 170. It did very, very well. Um, yeah, he killed like a lot of men. <laughs> a lot of my army that didn't come back. I did actually, yeah, lose a lot of men. Jeez. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment if there's any uh, battles in the Lord of the Rings world that you want us to try and recreate. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.